How's it going today, guys? So, I've been pissed off for the past probably hour or hour and a half or so because you cannot find any information on this online. Now, if you want to hook your Titan email because you have, like, let's say, Hostinger as your host or something, uh, they give you free email addresses through Titan. So, you know, I set up my emails with them, and plus it was kind of like pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, set up your email. But you set up your email, guess what you can't have it on? Outlook. Now, if you have your iPhone or you have your MacBook or your iPad, all you have to do is put in your login information and say IMAP, and then bam, it works perfectly fine. Titan has done their best to uh, show you how to do this, but there's one error that just keeps popping up and you can't find shit about this online. All right, so first off here, you need to go into, uh, I, get, I have Hostinger, so you know it, it, the information is just right there. Um, but you can also look it up online, just you know, Titan email to Outlook, and then you can bring up this article. Doesn't really help you, but it does show you some information that you need to know here. I'm highlighting it. Do you see? This is the information that you need to have. Um, but if you have HPanel, you can just go here, click on emails, your email, and then you go to configure desktop app, configure email in third party apps. And then bam, you have the information that you need because we're going to be setting up through IMAP, right? So if you go into um, Outlook, you set, you go to set up a new email, you click on file up here, you go to add an account, and we're gonna click on manual setup, because I've tried this forever and it was not working. So I ended up saying, okay, maybe manual, where I can actually in, in, input the, the IMAP information that they're giving you. So you click on I, uh, pop or IMAP, and then you go ahead and enter your information here. Click on IMAP because that's what we're setting up. And then your incoming server is that one that they just had there. This is your uh, incoming server, so you're going to add that. And then this is your outgoing server, so you're going to add just that little top part there. So if we go in and we finish this out, click remember password and I think in the article they say to um, require login or whatever there right so you're gonna check the box but the next thing that I did was hey I didn't have to enter this port information here and it says SL, uh, SSL SSL encryption method like I didn't enter that so I go into more settings outgoing server or uh, advanced I mean and you'll go ahead and change this to, I think it was 993, yeah, 993. And it was SSL, and then you have to click SSL for this one first. Then you can go in and add in 465, because that was the other uh, outgoing server that they added here with SSL. I'm gonna cut in here and just say, do not forget to put inbox as the root folder. Otherwise, you will not be able to delete things. But you're gonna click on outgoing server. Now you click this button here, but you didn't have to click it over here, right? So you're gonna click on my outgoing server, log on using, and you'll go ahead and enter in the same email address that you had that you're trying to use here. And then you'll enter your password again and then require that, right? When I click OK, go to next, bada bing, bada boom. That's all it was. Again, I'll show you one more time. Right, that this works. So if I send a new email to myself, we can check to make sure that it's both sending and receiving. Just gotta give it a second. Bam. Ooh, ooh. Now, thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.